Good morning. Welcome to Grace for Today. Blessings to all of you. Thank God for his goodness and his mercy and his kindness. He is the faithful God. There is no God like Jehovah. Amen and bless the Lord. I'm going to give you all a few moments to come on. And then we'll start our teaching for today. All right. Okay. So, um, hope you had a chance to join us on Saturday. I'll upload the video to YouTube shortly. But um, Saturday for Journey with Jesus. This Thursday, 7 p.m., we will have um, Laced with Love. Hope that you can join us for that. It's by Zoom only. So it'll be, well, it's not live here, but it's on Zoom. So uh, join us if you can. You should have the information to those of you who've already signed up. And uh, let's look into the word of the Lord. We'll have some of the viewers, who will, will the women of God who will be teaching during that time. I'll cover the last few chapters, uh, the last few books that's in the book. Um, so let's prepare for that. But God bless you. Don't forget that third Saturday in November. Hey, Lori. I don't know why I get excited every time I see her. Maybe because she's such a bubbly person. God bless you. Thought about you the other day. Um, so if you will, um, don't forget third Saturday in November, we will be at um, House of Blessings for uh, Prophet C.C. Parker, C.C. Parker's Prophetic Prayer Conference. And um, that's at 9 a.m. on November 16th and here in the city of Hattiesburg. Hope that you'll join us for that. And then, of course, we're working on next year's calendar. I'm trying to get things done. Uh, January, of course, is busy. Good morning, Annette. And then uh, February, we'll be in Yazoo City. March, we're anticipating. I already have the date and everything. Um, we have, we'll be in Waynesboro. And I kind of stopped because my book is out. And I do not have a graphic again. But y'all saw my post. Please share the post. Um, I know that it's available on Amazon as an ebook only, but you have you can't order through the Amazon app. You have to go to the website or even for Kindle, go to the website. So go to Chrome or Safari, type in um, Amazon and go there, log in, and you should be able to download it there. The paper copies can are available through me only because it's a little book. Um, so, and the, the, the book, the print copy will have more material in it. I just feel like there are some things I need to uh, kind of, uh, add to it. So if you want the paper copy at $10 for the paper copy, $5 for shipping, uh, please let me know. I'm going to do an audio book for this as well. Hopefully I'll have that done by the end of, Hey, Kendra, Brandy, I'll have it ready by the end of November, Lord willing. Uh, but paper copies, I'm your girl. So inbox me, email me, text me, whatever, it, and we'll talk about how the arrangements, but I can get that done. And hopefully we'll have it on our website shortly that you can order directly from there. Enough housekeeping. Let's continue looking and talking about the certainty of trials, tests, temptations, and tribulations. You know, I was thinking about moving on to, good morning, hey, Sister Heather. Uh, hey, Lady Janelle. I was thinking about moving on to uh, David next, but I need to go back. And because uh, I didn't read you any scriptures, so I'm going to read you some scriptures this morning about uh, uh, Joseph. And I want you to kind of put yourself there and remind yourself of who you are. When you go through trials, you go through things that stretch you beyond what you consider your norm. And God will many times stretch you. He will cause you to see you're not. I raise both my hands because I just, you know, I've had some issues. <laughs> I've had some issues this week, last week. Um, it's stretching trying to do so many things at the same time. I've made my to-do list a few times and um, that's just part of my to-do list that I need to get done. Will be great today. Don't know that it will, but that's just today, not including work. But I'm trying to be found faithful. You should be too. So uh, God knows how to stretch us. He knows how to put us in position. He knows where we need to strengthen and to beef up those areas in our lives. Let's look at a couple of scriptures if y'all don't mind. So we know that Joseph's position wasn't ready until it was the season. When I keep hearing people use that word season, y'all know we, the Lord gave us this 
back in, in, in 2024 that it's a new season. It, and we have to remember that it's a season of promises. It's not new for you who watch, who join us for Grace for Today, part of the family here. You know. Yeah, until it wasn't. Because that's the thing is this. The door doesn't. I remember Bishop uh, Terry Wings when he ministered at our church decades ago. He made this statement when he was preaching. You don't need a door open until you get there. You don't need a door open. We always want to know how, but you don't need the door open until you get there. And that's the thing about that, even looking at Joseph's life, he wanted that door open now. And we can remember he told the baker and the butler, don't forget about me. But they did. He was ready then. But the season, the time, wasn't until God began to deal with Pharaoh giving him the dreams that he had that caused the door, the season, to open, to change for Joseph. We sing the song, in your time, is that right? In your time, in your time, he makes, oh, it's his time. He makes all things beautiful in his time. Lord, please show me every day as we, I don't know that. Something in your, your whatever, y'all, anyway, y'all go look it up. But it's about knowing I'm where I should be, even if it's a difficult season. I, I know that God will get me out and move me forward. He will shift, because that was a big word, people, shift. Now, the thing is, God is saying, trust, trust my timing. Trust my timing. Trust my timing. I know where you are. He can locate us. Just like Joseph, his position wasn't ready until it was time. The season needed to come. Hey, Sister Phoebe. Until uh, it was his, his time. Here, Joseph was brought down to Egypt, but he wasn't going the wrong way. We, we think that we'll only receive good things at the hand of God. But the, the thing we have to remember is that God will stretch us to trust him. Glory to God. To fill us and to meet our needs. Joseph had to learn that whatever situation he was in, God was taking him through. I keep telling you all this because I want you to get it. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? Because the Lord, he's with me. I told y'all, you people, everybody who was there Saturday at um, um, Journey with Jesus, I was reading our book and we were talking about it and I was set apart in prayer. And as I began, began reading it, the Lord gave me another book. I'm just telling y'all how this is what, it's the season. It's your time. It's your time to be blessed. It's the season. I got to get to this. What time is it? Okay. It's the season. We need to be able to hear his voice. Follow it. Gave me the book. Title, Solitary, Se Solitary Season. Gave me one, seven, five, six, seven pages. Wrote them all out. Got my chapters outlined. Because when the Holy Ghost moves, we move brandy and seasons are, they're going to change if you just hold on. But God knows how to help us. All right, solitary season, I hope to have done very quickly. I learned from doing What's Your Egypt? That's my new book. I learned because he gave me that last year. I dallied around playing around, being busy with everybody else's agenda, distracted for two years, just off course. But this, this is your season for grace, for favor. Y'all know that Marvin Sapp. I don't know the rest of that either. Let me read you a scripture. The scripture says Joseph was hated. Mm. Joseph was prosperous even after he was sold into slavery. Just because one area of your life doesn't look like it's being fruitful does not mean that God cannot increase you in that season. Look at Psalm 39 and Genesis 39 verse 2. But the Lord was with Joseph and he, though a slave, was a successful and prosperous man. 
and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Did y'all, y'all hear that? The Lord, when God is with, let me, I don't know if I have that uh, translation here. I want us to remember that because the, what you, the word of God, good morning, Lady Lisa. Good morning, Puppy Bell. Here, I want to, oh, it's the Amplified. I want to look at that. I want to share that with you because I need you to get that. We, we always think that somehow we're going to have, here, this is it. This is, you can let me, 39. I don't like that one. I want the Amplified. Hold on. Here it is. Yes. Share. I want to, why you want to do that? I don't like this. I don't know what some of that is. Okay. It's not letting me do it. I, well, there it is. Okay, here it is. All right, I'm going to share this with you. I want y'all to get it. I want you to have this. Because when you can understand the word of God, you can apply it. Here it is. There, just posted it for you. The Lord was with you. You need to put your name there. The Lord is with Edna. The Lord is with Edna. He is with grace for today. He is with journey with Jesus. He is with whatever I put my hands to do that he's ordained. He's with my book, What's Your Egypt? He's with my next book, uh, Solitary Season. He's with my next book. I'm not giving you the title. Oh, so, but listen, my point is this. We need to remind ourselves God is with me. And if he's with me, even though I may be a slave, though I may be uh, under uh, in debt, though I may have difficulties in my life, I need to remember the word of God. I need to remember the, that God is with me, just like he was with Joseph. So you can trust him. We sing it, but we've got to live it. You may be, you may beloved. it. You may be crying. Hey, glory to God. You may have dark seasons. You may have valley times. But even through your tears, even through your disappointments, even through the, the difficulties, you have to remember God is still with me. There's nothing. And so if there is something wrong with you, he'll help you. We have to remind ourselves he promised. I might not get that. Because that might not have been what he had for me. That might not be what he has for me. Because I had some things I just knew. I was like, Samuel, this is the Lord's anointed. And God said, I rejected him. Eliab, I, I saw him in his heart. He wasn't the one. Samuel, the man of God who knew how to hear God. The one, he missed it. So people make it seem like you just, you know, all because you meant No, if Samuel missed God, we're human too. But it doesn't change the promise. Mm. I need to say that. Because we, we. He promised. I'm trying to make type as fast as I can. It doesn't change his promise. It, the Lord is with Edna. And I'm grateful. He's not like some of us. He will leave us when we do wrong. Talk about he is with me. Even though he was a slave, he became a successful and prosperous man while he was a slave at Potiphar's house. God can prosper us. I'm trying to help you with you understanding the certainty of trials. You can thrive in a trial. You can thrive, maybe not in that area because he may be challenging you in that area, but your other areas begin to blossom and bloom. Sometimes, oh, thank you, Jesus. We we have to remind ourselves that many things are born, B-O-R-N-E, through our grief. It is born. We get a catalyst, depression. I remember hearing, oh goodness, what's her name? My time is gone already. She was, I see her face. Oh, I'm gonna look her name up because I want you to, I don't listen to secular music. Um, Adele, Adele, um, somebody I was listening to, uh, Pastor Hart Ramsey some years back, and he was making this point that she was really, she had a voice, but nobody really knew her, but she went through some grief, some breakups, some difficulties in her life, and through that grief sprung up so many things that catapulted her forward. You think that sometimes going back 
is not good. But sometimes God will, will pull you back to cast you forward. I know we don't like it because we want everything to be pristine and proper. And everybody, I, I done been down that road. It's all right. But I'd rather go his way. And God will take us through the times that we think are unfruitful, that we think are not beneficial, that are trying our faith. Remember, I tell you often, the enemy is coming for your faith. I will not be shaken. I will. That see, there's. I'm just saying, we need to remember. Um, I need to get those words. I think this is it. No, I don't know. No. I don't think this. I don't know if I have the right words. But it's a song that says, "We will. I will not be shaken. I'm not going to be shaken. And neither should you because the Lord is with you. The Lord. Abel, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Lord is with me. And if he... Yes, he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. He gives me peace in the midst of the storm cause I know joy is coming in the morning time. It's coming in the morning time. It's coming in the morning time. It's coming in the morning time. Listen, I'm going to have to pick this up tomorrow because my time is gone. I try so hard to to um, to um work with our... I do, I do, I do, I do. But that's why I have life class on third Saturdays, typically so that I can go right to Sir Janet. Right. And um, so that we can, we can have more time than my little 15, 20 minutes. But you know, God is good to us. Listen, I, I'm next year. My plan is to come to, um, there are certain places I want to go. Of course, Jackson, Byram, wherever one, that's one area. And then of course I'm going to my hometown. I did, I have plans to come to Columbus. Um, I have plans to go in Eaton Temple. We were there at in Columbia. I believe the Lord spoke a word to me. Some people came into, I just know that we need to follow God's lead. Nobody, nobody sponsored Grace for Today there. You all give and it helps me to go where I, so I'm not asking for anything. I just know that when God lays it on your heart, there are several people who do. And it helps me to go where I'm supposed to go. Do what I'm supposed to do. And if it's encouraging one soul, we need to be found faithful. So do you. All right, I got to go. Father, thank you so much for what you're doing in us. Father, our heart's prayer, our heart's cry is to be found safe and secure in you and in your will. Cover our hearts. You said that, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous Hey, thank you, can run into and be safe. Lord, through our times of grief, our times of difficulty, our valley seasons, we ask you now that you would help us to dig deep into the rich soil of the word of God and that we would come out stronger and better and greater to accomplish things for the kingdom of God. We honor you now and we bless your name and we decree and declare that it is so. Bless our children as they go to school. Protect them from bullies. Protect them from evil influences. Let their minds be clear. Father, we thank you that you are teaching our hands to war so that a bowl of steel is broken by our finger. We honor you for these things and we receive it done in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare, we declare it is so. Thank you for it. Amen. All right. Hey, y'all, don't forget my new book is out and I do not have. Oh, yes, I do. Here it is. What's your Egypt? This is just a piece of paper. Wait, here it is. Wait there. What's your Egypt? That's it. So if you go to, if you want to buy it on Amazon, it's just an ebook on Amazon, okay? Um, but you have to go to their website, not the app on your phone. Go to Chrome or wherever. Pick up a copy. It's a short read. Um, I'm going to have an audio book hopefully in the next few weeks. And then, of course, paper copies can be purchased through me. You can inbox me, email me, edna.jameson at gracedfortoday.org. We'll have it on our website soon. Uh, so we'll have the ebook, an audio book, and a print book. All right. The print book will have bonus material. So if you want to wait for that, just hold on. All right. God bless you. And uh, there's another book that's uh, churning right now called Solitary Season. I believe that it will bless you as well. We want God to be God's will to be done in us, whatever season. 
Absolutely right, Lady Lisa. Blessings, y'all. Listen, don't forget my 2025 calendar. I'm ready. I'm planning. I'm trying to hear God for where we should be. Inbox me and let me just cover that in prayer just a little bit. But I believe that when the door opens, uh, the disciples just went everywhere preaching the word of God. They went everywhere preaching the word of God. The only time they didn't go was when the Holy Ghost said, don't go there. All right, listen, I got to go. Y'all pray for me. My name is Edna Gray Jameson. I appreciate your time and your support. Thank you for your prayers. Please continue to do so. There's much to be done. I'll put you on the list, Brother Clytus. Um, Because uh, I got a list of people who want paper copies. I just keep a running list. It's easier for my life. Um, so let's um, let's stay, stay the course. Let's just stay the course. Let's just stay the course. Stay the course. And uh, I believe God's going to do what he promised in his word. So, all right. So don't forget to share the, um, hold on. Uh, to, uh, don't forget to share the video, type in, catch the replay, hashtag graced for today. Join me in the morning, 7.15 a.m. Central Time. We'll continue talking about, all right, Lori, I'll put you on my list too. Um... Okay, Janet Travis. Okay, I put you. Y'all, y'all working me. You're working me. Okay. Um, so I, oh, I printed and sign. Yes, ma'am. I got you. Uh, we'll work those out, but you're on my list at least. I know how to contact all y'all so far. So, and when we go to, um, to Yasma City, we'll have copies there as well. But if you want it before then, inbox me and uh, let me know, text me, whatever. But I just believe that the word of God will change our lives. All right. So don't forget to share the video, type in, catch the replay, hashtag graced for today. Uh, join me in the morning at 7, 15 a.m. Central time. We'll continue talking about the certainty of trials, tests, temptations, and tribulations. They're certain. So y'all join me then. And uh, until then, remember this, I'm trying to put Yolanda down. Okay, Yolanda, I'll probably need your address, but um, or contact, but inbox me. You, you've got, you've done that. You know what? You know how to do that. You're good. Um, so, join me in the morning, y'all. Share this video. And until then, remember this: time spent in the Word of God is never wasted. And you have been graced for today. Have a great day, everybody. Y'all, y'all, but y'all, you. I got everybody through Yolanda Whitfield. All right, your sister Barry. That's fine. Um, and. But if anybody else pops on there, y'all might need to inbox me or text me or something because I don't always go back. I love you bunches and I'm praying for you. You're, you're in, my, in my prayers. I hope that today's a great day. We'll see you all soon in the morning, Lord willing. God bless you. Have a great day. Peace.